Hi guys, Camilla here and welcome to another card making video on my YouTube channel and blog. Today I will be creating a leafy card, a fall card using the stitched leaves from Lawn Palm. And here you can see I already die cut some of the leaves. I wanted to show you how I color them using some distressings. I die cut the leaves out of smooth white cardstock. And the colors of distressing I'm using as mustard seed, spiced uh, marmalade, ripe persimmon, barn door and scattered straw. And to apply the ink I'm using sponge dabbers by Tsukineko as these were most convenient with applying ink on such a small surface. And if you are following my channel you know that I love distressings. I love how easily they blend together and I love the colors they come in. And uh, there's so many colors that blend together even though you would think they don't. Uh, here I'm actually using the same color family, uh, the yellows and reds and oranges. So obviously they would blend perfectly, uh, but sometimes you would be surprised. So I really encourage you to get some distressings, especially now they come in those small cubes and try out uh, color combinations. I love how vibrant these are and also another advantage is that they work with water. So here you can see I have my um, leaves all colored in. I went with some typical fall colors, all beautiful and vibrant. And now I'm going to use one of the uh, paper pads by Lawn Fawn, uh, perfectly played in uh, the fall collection. And I'm going to use the brown pattern, uh, the brown page, to use as the background for my leaves. I cut down my uh, pattern paper uh, to a smaller size and now I'm going to use vintage photo distressing and I'm going to apply it all over my cardstock, uh, mostly on the edges but also I'm going to come in uh, a little bit in the middle to kind of tone down the pattern and make it more vibrant and um, kind of blend in with the leaves later on. And now I'm organizing the leaves how I want them on my card front. And to adhere them I'm using Tombow Mono liquid glue. It's a good glue to apply uh, to adhere uh, any die cuts because you have a little time to maneuver before it actually dries. So here even though I uh, kind of know where I want each leaf, I still have a few seconds to turn it uh, left or right or up or down. So that's the advantage of Tumble Mono. Or now I think about it, probably any other liquid glue. <laughs> uh, I just really like Tumble Mono because it's, uh, I like the nozzle. Uh, where you apply it and and it's a very strong glue too. So I'm continuing applying all my leaves, uh, adhering rather, and now I'm gonna use this memory box cross stitched frame die to die cut my uh, card front and this is how it will look like after it's done, die cut. It die cut through perfectly. I had to run it through my Sizzix Big Shot uh, twice just to make sure because it was uh, because of the leaves it was a little thicker And here you can see all the cross stitching on the edges. I really love how it turned out. And I like that it actually is on some of those leaves. And I like the fact that the leaves are not all within uh, the frame, the card front. Uh, so it gives this a nice interesting uh, effect. And now I'm going over each leaf with my clear Wink Estella glitter pen to add a little bit of shimmer. I hope you can see it here. Uh, I'm trying to catch the light so you can see the shimmer. And as much as I loved the, how it turned out, I thought it lacked a little bit something. They did not pop enough for me, the leaves, so I turned, uh, came up with this idea of using a white gel pen all around each of the leaves. And normally I use the uh, Uniball Signal gel pen, but it kind of ran out of me, so I got another one. And the one I'm using here is by Pentel, and it's uh, number one white uh, hybrid white gel pen. So I'm going all over each uh, one of the leaves and I think that made them really pop out of this card front uh, and uh, gave the focus to each one of the leaves. And I think it also gave a nice contrast for the leaves uh, to the brown background. And now I'm gonna assemble my card. I used some orange card base on top of which I adhered using Tumble Mono liquid glue some of the uh, pattern paper from the perfectly played Lawn Fawn uh, Fall Edition uh, pattern paper. And now I'm gonna use some deep red cardstock on top of that, 
uh, also using Tambo Mono Liquid Glue, so I'm adhering this flat. And then I'm gonna adhere my card front uh, using some double-sided foam tape to add a little bit dimension to my card front. And now for the sentiment, I'm gonna use actually this banner from Avriel and I'm gonna stamp so thankful for your kindness. Uh, I die cut this banner, but I actually didn't quite like the, the dots on it because it actually pierced them uh, and not all of them. So some were pierced, some were uh, just uh, kind of embossed uh, and I didn't write, really like it. So I just cut it off uh, all around it. Uh, and actually I like the fact that the banner was a little smaller. And now I'm gonna use my uh, VersaFine Black Onyx ink to stamp my sentiment. Now I look at the card, I actually realized that it would have been so much better to use brown ink to stamp out the sentiment. It would definitely blend much better with the rest of the card. But at the time I didn't really think about it because I just love VersaFine Black Onyx ink so much because it gives this uh, perfect crisp, imp crisp impression. So I just uh, left it like that. And also, of course, uh, that being me, uh, the For Your Kindness was slightly crooked. Uh, I don't think it's uh, crooked enough so that you can actually uh, your eye can catch it right away. Uh, but I can see it and it will bother, bother me forever. And now I stamped also this little uh, acorn to complete my uh, sentiment banner. I used some double-sided foam tape to adhere my banner on the uh, card front and that finished my card for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and you got inspired to create some nice fall cards for your friends to thank them for being kind or just simply for being there for you. And thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you again soon with a new card making video. Bye!